Hello Collective, welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. Uh, appreciated. Let's go ahead and see what in the world is going on in our tarot reading today. Um, Lord have mercy. Okay. All right, so this came out sideways. So someone is not sure about something. Someone may have indulged in something that they are not sure about now. They thought, yeah, they're not sure about it. It may have caused them a lot of loss in the beginning or before. And now they're trying to minimize the amount of loss they've experienced. So that with this coming in the reverse, someone is trying to take a new path. Someone is way down in burden at night, maybe having nightmares. They've lost quite a lot. Uh, someone saw something as wish fulfillment before. I am going to put this in the reverse because someone will not be having wish fulfillment because of the actions they took against someone. Um, I don't know what the heck this is. This would be like a masculine energy behind the scenes um, that wants to balance something out because their resources are being depleted. Someone overindulged in something. Someone was very determined to, to defeat a feminine energy or another energy that did nothing to him. There's something where it's like a group of masculines are behind the scenes trying to hinder or disturb someone's uh, comfort. They don't like the fact that you're independent. They don't like the fact that you're self-sufficient. They don't like the fact that you're not out here begging for anything. They don't like the fact that you're not out here seeking attentions and things like that. You may be someone very assertive. Yeah, very assertive. And you are like the king of pentacles in your own life. You're not out here looking for money from anyone. You say, if I got $2 in my pocket, then that's just what I got in my pocket until the most high can multiply it. So, um... There's something here where uh, a masculine or a family or a group of masculines may have overindulged in something and now is backfiring or is about to backfire heavily. Yeah, this is a family. They are not getting their wishes. Whatever they were plotting, they're not getting it. These people are headed for poverty and a lot of loss. They were, they were hoping that they were going to have some type of fresh start, new beginning. Something, something was going to be given to them. It's not going to be given to you all. It's not going to be given to you all. They got a queen of wands to play a role, pretend to be something she is not. I'm telling you, you're not getting anything that you thought you were going to get. Karmic family and karmic veil. Okay? You're not getting it. There is no success, okay? There is no success for you all at the end of the rainbow for whatever it is you all have been doing. It's nothing but disappointments, 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 okay? You people are very manipulative. You're into some type of dark form of magic. This is a cup, uh, not a, it could be a couple. This is a family that does rituals together. They feel like they're never out of options on how to cause mayhem in other people's lives and things like that. They've been doing this for a long time. They were blocking some type of collaboration. I don't know if this was like a work collaboration, but these people have been working really hard to cause some type of tower in someone's work. Trying to block you from being seen you. Seen, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Trying to block you from being seen. Trying to block your elevation, trying to block your recognition. They don't want people uh, crediting you. They don't want people seeing you as someone that's credible. Why? Because you know the truth about them, what they're going through, what they do behind closed doors. And because they don't want people knowing that, they've been doing a lot of magic behind the scenes, a lot of manipulations, working with a lot of third parties to hinder your forward movement to make sure you don't get any type of offers, brand new beginnings or anything like that in life. And it's not going in their favor, as you can see here. Okay, this the, uh, everything these people, every action these people took against you has led to some type of ending for them on an individual level and as a family. They are all going through some type of loss and will have to move on. Okay, move on because what? Loss after loss after loss, and they want to come in to cause you problems. This is a family that wants to get together and go get, grab their pitchforks. To come after an empress energy. And you've already put an end to this cycle, right? You may have spoken your truth. You so, you're someone that's very quick with it, right? You live in your truth. You're very authentic. You spoke your truth and it, truth and it caused some type of tower to these people, okay? There's a masculine behind the scenes that knows the truth about what this, these people have been doing. So he may be standing his ground to them. So I will ask you to just 
keep out of this mess mind your business like i always say okay someone is upset behind the scenes because a masculine knows the truth now and he's choosing to go through some type of healing journey like someone is self-actualizing and is pissing someone off especially like a mother or a wife baby mama's figure this is one of those women i think i mentioned this in my previous reading there's a white figure behind the scenes that laughs at other women if you're like a single parent or something like that, and she's about to be just that. And you see how the universe is, fun I tell you, the universe has a wicked sense of humor. There's a wife character behind the scenes that laughs at other women if you're like a single parent having to do everything on your own. Meanwhile, she's in a relationship where she's not even happy in. Someone wants to be somewhere else, so they're taking their leave, but she'll sit behind, the, behind closed doors living like she's out in the cold because someone does not see her as wish fulfillment um because they know she's not someone genuine okay um it's like they used to be on the same page with some type of karmic way of living karmic way of thinking karmic way of being but he's like getting out of that someone is about to be a single mother so what she was laughing at she's about to be that welcome to the club baby from all the single mothers in the world, they want to tell you, welcome to the club, okay? And she and the whole group she was working with, they are burdened. And they may be pissed off that you even know the truth about what they are going through. There's a high priestess in here that's having to walk away because she took some type of drastic action. And it led to some type of revelation about her. So now she's unsure on what type of path she should take. She should keep on... Should she keep on this path with these crazy people or go somewhere else and start over? You may want to go somewhere else and start over because, honey, if you're done, your life is over too, okay? Your life, yeah, your life is over too. Over. O-V-E-R. Over. About to be out here in the cold thinking you're about to be abundant. You're not about to be abundant at all, at all, okay? You may want to thread with caution, Thread with caution. I'm telling you, you all were causing a lot of manipulation about an impressed energy that did nothing to you simply because what? You felt intimidated. You didn't like someone because they were what? Genuine. They were healing. Authentic. You want to be someone, but you're incapable of being that person. Why? Because you refuse to self-actualize and heal. You said healing is not important. Healing is for the wimps, right? Mm-hmm. And then you have a king of wands, king of swords behind the scenes, battling each other, going up against each other. There's a king of swords causing some type of illusion. This is someone who's like a smooth criminal. This is how he sees himself. Talking about you've been hit by a smooth criminal. No, 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 no. He thinks he's about to come in, present some type of love offer to someone, pretend to be friends with someone. Like someone wants you to see them as a friend. You don't see this person as a friend at all. At all, at all. You don't see someone as a friend at all. This is someone that used to be friends with a king of wands that now knows that someone is not in the upright, right? He knows that this king of swords has been causing illusions and has been lying. Um, and he's taking the action to balance something out. It's like someone trusted. Yeah, he knows what this king of swords has been doing behind the scenes, that he's been lying about a feminine energy that a masculine was inquiring about. Or maybe he just told her, hey, told him, hey, keep your eye on this girl or this woman or whoever this is. And then he got to doing his own operation and something didn't add up to what he thought it would. So he started telling lies. And now he wants to come towards this Empress energy that's very youthful. But she has her sword pulled out at him because what someone is gifted. Some of the things he's out here uh, um, hiding, but he don't know he's out on display. Like someone can see everything he's doing. He thinks he's moving discreetly. There is no discretion with you. Is that one of those people you talk to them and they sound all calm, soft-spoken and things like that, but you can just tell it's, a, it's an act, but you don't say nothing. You just let them keep going. That's this person. So what he's trying to do now is hinder your, your, your independence so that he can force you to work with, work with him so he can cause you a, t uh, a ending tower whatever this is right everything you invest in with this person is going to lead to some type of ending and you're going to be heartbroken and disappointed way down and feeling trapped okay and this is the god's honest truth someone wants to establish some type of friendship so he he's doing it step by step he said, I'm going to call today or I'm going to stop by today and just say, hey, kid. Hey, hon. 
Hey girl, I'm just trying to see how you're doing. Haven't seen you in a long time. Blah, 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 blah. And the whole time you're listening, say, yeah, haven't seen you in a long time either. How's everything been with you? But the whole time, you know exactly what this man is planning for you. And you're just looking at him or listening to him like the idiot he is. And when he gets off the phone, what? He tells his friend, yeah, I got it down packed. I know exactly how to do this, how I'm going to take her down. And the whole time, he does not know that you know, okay, what he's planning. And he's about to lose everything. Someone does not know that you are on like the battleground. And you are just waiting for him to bust a move so you can, you can help him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Help him. Okay. Yeah. He, he, he does not know. It's like, I'm just waiting for you to bust up move so I can fix it. So I can fix it. So I can fix it. And then this whole situation can be over with. Finito. King of Wands, if you are friends with this King of Swords that I'm picking up on, you may want to keep your distance from him. This is not your friend. You have people around you. That are doing nothing but causing you complications in life. Still mates. Lying to you. Blinding you. And I don't know if you have some type of loyalty. But you have loyalty to the wrong people. You may want to reconsider some type of. Uh, yeah. Reconsider your friendships with these people. This is a whole family. A group of friends that are working against you. And you're out here talking about loyalty. Loyalty my neck. I'm telling you this is a whole family. Friends. Couple. You're working with. And they're working you like a tuba. Working hard to keep you stuck in your mind, cause you emotional problems. They want you feeling uneasy about going towards someone. They want to make it seem like it's going to be very difficult, but it's not. This is you and this person working together, going through some type of rebirth. You are going through some type of rebirth right now, some type of ascension, which is helping you put an end to this chapter and leading you to take a new path. You may be advocating for yourself now behind the scenes. I don't know what the heck you're doing, but thread with caution. The King of Swords is not your friend. Uh, there's a queen of cups in your energy that is not your friend. Okay, she's going through a tower herself. She's under judgment for trying to force something to go in a way that it was not meant to go. She's trying to force you to see her, I guess, in a light that's, that's not fitting. Someone wants you to see them as your twin flame, but this is nothing but S-E-X. If you had a relationship with this woman, it's nothing but S-E-X. It's nothing but an illusion. She was with you for your resources, Okay what you could give her. You may have been spoiling a couple of women because I'm pulling on, I'm picking up on a king of queen of wands and a queen of cups. Now, I don't know if you go both ways, but I almost said king of cups, but that's your business. I'm not here to judge, but there are two women in your energy that you possibly have been giving to and neither of them really care about you or they care about all your resources and your resources could be going through some type of hindrances because of what you've been investing in especially when it comes to these two women and the people behind them okay um so someone out here is, is after you for your money but when you see them they pretend to be like this wholesome modest classy they ain't classy you need to hold back from this person someone's emotions be all over the place someone's like a masculine pretending to be a feminine like this is a, a woman, but she resides in her masculine energy. But because you have resources and things like that, or oh, sis is going to pretend to be a feminine energy, but she's predominantly in her masculine energy and she does rituals behind the scenes as well. Okay. She tells a lot of lies. There's a reason why this woman is in your energy. And that's because you give to these women often, very often you give to them and the whole time they're plotting your ending and you don't know that. You don't know that. Yeah, you don't know that. You may want to walk away. You may want to walk away. Nobody cares where you go, where you don't go, to who you go to, who you don't go to. But you may want to walk away and go have a brand new start somewhere else. I don't know if you need, need to move overseas to another state, another city, whatever that is. We really don't care, but we'll just put out our messages like they come out. Mm, there, huh? I don't know you have a wife and this, this storyline has been coming out repeatedly. You absolutely either have a wife, mother figure, baby mama that's burdened about you being practical about a situation and giving an offer to someone else. This has her way down. Absolutely. So with you having a wife and then there are two other women popping up in your energy, a queen of wands and a queen of cups. This means you're someone reckless. You're reckless. 
you are reckless. So that means your wife also, she knows what you do behind the scenes. She knows the truth. You and her are the same, right? There is no love in your, in your relationship or something like that. You two just kind of stay in the same house or you've just been staying in the same house. You give your pack back to everybody. She does the same thing, right? You could be someone that's very well endowed. I don't know if that's why these women are crazy about you or whatever. And then you have the audacity to have money and resources. That's why they're going crazy. Little girl stuff, immature stuff. Women that don't have the energy or ambition, the will to get the heck out and go work for what it is they want in life. They are the ones that feel like they have to fight for a man. Prove that they are the, the ideal woman. The meaning you feel like you got to prove that you are a genuine woman, you ain't a genuine woman. That, that's what the false ones don't know. The moment you take action to pretend or convince someone that you are worth their time, you are the actual empress, you already told them you are not an empress. And if they don't know that, then that means they're, they themselves, they have some type of ascension they need to go through because real women don't entertain stuff like that. We don't care because everything we have comes from the most high. Okay. So if you don't give it to us, we know where it's coming from. We're not going to beg you for it. Okay. So whoever you've been entertaining, the wife, the queen of wands, the queen of cups, none of them are empress energies. They are, none of them want to have to work to get anything in life. They want to be able to put their hand out every week, however often you give these people money. They want to be able to put their, their hands out and receive from you. These are women that lay on their backs for their livelihoods. But there you go leaving. <laughs> It's a full-time job for them. And there's a queen of wands losing it behind the scenes. May want to go fight someone. Girl, you better sit down where you are. Out here embarrassing women because you're about to be left out in the cold. You, that man don't care what you do. He's still walking away. He don't care what you do, who the heck you go to go fight, whether it's a woman you think he's interested in working with, he don't care. That man is leaving and he's going to give his commitment somewhere else because he sees that it'll be worthy to invest in a new beginning instead of going through this chaos with you all. Man, three women deal. What the heck? Three women? This is like the kind of woman that will tell a man he can do whatever he wants because he has money or he's good looking or something. It's okay. You can go ahead and sleep with that person as long as you know where home is. Uh, girl, that means he don't know where home is. The, the F are you talking about? I don't curse a lot, but every now and then it come out. But honey, the F are you talking about? What are you talking about? As long as you know where home is, as long as he, as long as he comes back, what? Come back to you with what? What, what is he coming back to you with? Community property downstairs? Girl, you better put an end to that stuff and find your worth. Stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself because that's all you're doing. And you've been lying to yourself for years. But again, you two do the same thing. You have lovers. Yeah, you, all, you two do the same thing. You have lovers. You may even have a female lover that he may not know about. There's a, there's a couple out here, and I don't think these two are married. What I think is there's another couple in this collaboration. This could be like a king of swords, queen of pentacles energy. They're not married. They're into like menage a trois and things like that. And he thinks that she's only getting with women. She actually has a male partner that she gets with. Okay? And the whole time... You all have all these crazy problems going on in your lives, but you're choosing to focus on an empress energy, trying to prevent a union from coming together, trying to block a queen of cups investments, right? Not wanting someone to work with her, but she will be receiving that offer and working with whoever she's meant to work with, whether that's in love or business. This woman don't care about none of that. Someone does not sit around worrying about who's coming towards them because she knows, right? The universe has her in the position or is going to put her in the position that she needs to be in. So someone is sitting out here looking for him as because the universe is the one that provides what this person needs. Um, and they're always abundant in life. Okay. But the nerve of you are to be out here being public property, no type of self-respect. Okay. Living like the bottom of the barrel 
kind of activities because you live with anyone. Okay, as long as your downstairs starts itching, you're finding someone. You're you're finding someone. You feel way down. I I gotta do it now. I gotta do. I gotta get with someone. The heck? What the heck? Where's your self control? Where's your discipline? The heck? You're supposed to be disciplined in life. Why why are you so reckless? Reckless with your mouth, your body, everything. But then you have the audacity to come together to destroy, try to destroy someone because what? They're abundant in life? Because they're not small-minded in life? So you say they're a narcissist and you have to destroy the narcissist because what? They, they uh, bother that demon that is within all of you? They make you feel what? Insecure about yourself? No, 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 no. You made you feel insecure about yourself. That woman didn't do nothing to you. Someone don't even know you. That's how crazy it is. Someone does not even know you. Someone don't know you. Someone lives in a whole nother community, never met you before. Or if they met you before, they didn't know who you were because they were too focused on themselves. But you are stalking another woman online. I saw the page of source. You are stalking another woman online. But you're out here saying that someone is stalking you. No, 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 baby. This is your energy. You're toxic and karmic as heck. That woman don't know you. Someone is out li off living her own life, keeping her distance from people. Not by Whoever I'm seeing, this earth angel woman, divine feminine energy, she don't be bothering no one. Someone keeps to themselves. Like this woman keeps to herself. Keeps to herself. Keeps to herself. Be minding her business and stuff. Be minding her business. If you want to be friends with her, cool. She'll give you a genuine friendship. You two can be abundant together. But she's fine by herself. She's fine by herself. If you want to give to her, cool. But honey, she can mirror that same energy. Whatever you throw out at her, she will throw it back. If you throw out negativity to her, honey, she can match that energy. But oftentimes someone will what? Get the heck away from you because they what? don't want any type of negative energy around them. You got problems. You got problems. You got problems. You need to heal. You and your little karmic friends. It's a group of women that don't gather up the clan. They don't even like each other, but the common goal is to destroy an actual empress energy. So now what? Well, they're friends. Now they're friends. Whole time they're juggling each other, trying to destroy an empress energy. When they come together to discuss you, discuss you, honey, oh, they're all on the same page. But let them walk out that door when that meeting is over that has to do with you. They're bad-mouthing each other. That's how low vibrational and pathetic these women are. And the sad part is you know exactly what these kind of people do. You know, okay? There's an emperor, a, a high priestess in here. This high priestess knows that you are someone very genuine. You don't got time for the games, Okay? You don't got time for the games. You're focused on your work, being disciplined in life, accomplishing your goals. There's a high priestess that knows that and feels that. So she may have told the truth to someone that went to her for a reading. And now whoever went to get the reading is leaving these people out in the cold and taking charge of their life to go through the dark night of the soul so they can give a genuine offer, solid offer to someone else. This could be a king of pentacles seeing you as a queen of pentacles collective and they want to work with you, give you some type of offer that's going to lead to abundance. Someone knows that you're very sincere. Meanwhile, the ex-wife, soon to be ex-wife, the ex the two ex mistresses, because that's all they will ever be, are mistresses. Mistress, I can't even get the word out because it, it it don't resonate with my soul, people. It don't resonate with my soul. Being a mistress, nah. The two concubines, let's put it that way. The two concubines, okay? They're gonna have to move on because <laughs> this man is having a new beginning. He is leaving them out in the cold. How you how you how are you out here being a full time concubine? Make it make sense. It does not. It does not. Yeah, it does not. There's a woman in here. Either this queen of wands. I, this is the queen of wands. Oh, she gets a thrill out of being a concubine. 
She gets a thrill out of being a concubine. Someone's whole life, they've been nothing but a mistress. Been nothing but a mistress. Even if they were married in a relationship with another gentleman, she was a mistress. That's all she knows how to be. And she gets a thrill out of it. This is one of those women. She'll be sleeping with your man and she's in your energy every day, smiling, yapping with you, smiling in your face. And she feels good about herself. And you don't know why she feels good about herself. And she's smiling and everything, laughing with you. Hee hee ha ha. You think she's laughing with you, but she's laughing at you because when you're, when you two are done chatting, guess what she's going to go do? Ride your husband. Mm -hmm. There's a woman out here. She's this broken and damaged. She is this insecure that she gets a thrill out of being a concubine, out of being a mistress. How much money do you make out of being a mistress? That's what I want to know. Because when he leaves, honey, when he leaves this realm, when he, at any time he can drop your behind. When he leaves, honey, you ain't on none of the papers. That woman right there, he'd be telling you, oh, I can't stand her. She gets on my nerves. We just have an agreement that we're going to keep it hush hush. She does what she wants. I do what I want. When he leaves, she gets everything. She gets everything. Oh, yeah. And then you're out here way down. Have to find, having to find what? A new sugar daddy. Girl, I cannot. And this will be the kind of women that will get on social media to bad mouth of, of women that actually put in the work. And actually have some type of authority in their lives. Actually speak and live in their truth. They'll be out here feeling good about themselves. I'm pretty enough to be a mistress. <laughs> I'm pretty enough to be a concubine. Girl, if you don't sit your stupid, your raggedy behind down somewhere else. Out here embarrassing women. The heck is wrong with you? You think that's something to celebrate? Being a mistress and stuff? That ain't no freaking celebration. You need to go heal so you can find love. But you, the queen of wands, you ain't finding love in this lifetime. It's what I'm being told to tell you. You're going to be single, alone, and living in anxiety for the rest of your life on this planet. Why? You're going to jail. You're going to the penitentiary. Look at that. And you are going to be karmic always. And this is karmic justice. Karmic justice. And something is telling me this woman here, this wife character, she knows who you are. But she's been okay with it. She says, as long as he's coming home to me. But again, man, what is he coming to to you, coming home to you with? Huh? He's been out in the world with everybody. Mm-hmm. He's been out in the world with everybody. So what is he bringing home to you? What is he bringing home to you? Community D? Oh, Community D, that's real special. So special, so special. Yeah, there's a masculine, this is an emperor. He's going to have to learn to hold back if he wants to go towards the Queen of Cups because that Queen of Cups Empress energy ain't playing that nonsense. Oh, you you what? You be with everybody? I, I'm good. But I got money. I say I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We don't care about your good looks, your money, nothing. Women that are here and actually put in the work? Nah, 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 nah. We are good on these kind of energies. So you may have a lot of passion for us, but we don't mind holding back. Because we don't got time to waste with you. You need to go heal. Okay? Stop laying with everyone out of lust. It's a whole woman out here that takes pride. She takes pride in being a ho-ho-ho. And got, don't get nothing out of it. She don't get nothing out of it but S-E-X. That's it. Nothing. She thought someone gets like a thrill out of being a mean chick. Mean chick. <laughs> it ain't no different from being a concubine. Because you're all sharing the same person. The heck is a mean chick? You mean you're not the one and only chick? Girl, you don't got nothing to flex about then. Uh, stop, stop flexing. Because, nah. Because <laughs> he got options. <laughs> he got options and he can move on whenever he want to. Girl, you don't got nothing to flex about. Shut up and sit down. That ain't special. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And he's choosing to move on. <laughs> 
That is special. What the heck is wrong with you? And then they're out here trying to weigh a woman down and say, oh, he want to leave us. Girl, you know what? I'm not happy that he he's with you and stuff, but he can't go with her because if he goes with her, he's going to change. He's going to heal and start living the right way. And then we won't be able to get our money from him anymore. So we got to come together, girl, and stop him from moving on. And then the other idiot, girl, you right, because... I can't do this. You know, I've been like, we've been doing this for a long time and I can't stand to see him give his offer to someone else. I don't know who the heck that little earth angel thinks she is, but we can't be having that the whole time he got a whole wife at home. Huh? They don't form the whole alliance. The pass around bitches. Excuse my language. The formed, they formed a whole pack. They're going to go take an impressed energy out. And then when you come to that impressed energy, you're going to be met, met with this. This energy right here. But you see them as a queen of cups. You ain't nothing but a pass around ho, ho, ho. Come on now. Oh, don't be all up in your mind now because the truth is out. And she she's talking about me. Oh, you can't be mad because someone is telling the truth about you. You take pride in being loose, but you don't want to be called loose. You got a lot of miles on you. That's what I'm picking up. How are you going to get offended? Aren't you prideful out here? Oh, you be happy. It's a woman that literally, she literally be sleeping with people's husbands. And be smiling in those women's face, especially when she walks past them. Oh, she be feeling good about herself. Feeling good. Like, I know something you don't know. And I got something to tell you. No, 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 baby. Keep that to yourself. Uh-uh. You know how the old school women used to do? The old school ho-ho-hos, mistresses, and concubines used to do? You never knew they were into that kind of lifestyle because they knew their place and you knew your place as a wife. They didn't intercede in your territory when you were around. And what? You never knew about them. Your husband was married to you. Not that it was a right thing, but those women had some type of class about themselves. They didn't go out here announcing that they were what concubines. They were a side piece. They were a pass around. Ho, ho, ho. No, 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 no. They were a little classy about it. You never knew that your husband was sleeping with Mary down the street because they had enough common sense, some level of respect for the wife. They will wait till the wife went to the market or something, went on a trip, on a vacation in order for them to get together. He never slept at Mary's house. Okay, and Mary never wanted him to sleep at her, at her house. He, she said, hey, 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 the deal is done. I'm going to need you to go. Get on up out of here. Because I don't need your wife finding you in my house or nothing like that. We got an agreement, and we're going to stick to it. To it, Stick to it. And if your wife leave you, please don't feel like you can come to my house. No, 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 no. Okay? But these new pass around ho, ho, hoes. Nah, 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 nah. They don't have none of those. <laughs> they just be out here with it. Oh, this is the queen of queen. They be, I, I, hmm. I tell you, my, my downloads be on it. This is a whole queen of wands out here. Reckless as can be. Into three-way relationships. Sleep with men and women, by the way. Men and women. And she's going through some type of stalemate now. Maybe this man is holding back from her. He said, uh, you know what? I do need to heal. I know the truth now about what the whole family has been doing, what you and your fellow ho-ho-ho has been up to, and I'm good. So she's at some type of stalemate. Someone is about to lose everything because a masculine is going somewhere else again to another queen of cups. And he does want to marry this woman. There's a couple in here going through some type of ending, honey. This is what you didn't see. Oh, and they are terrified behind the scenes about some, something that has to do with resources that belong to a queen of pentacles, the actual empress energy. Yeah. Oh, these people are going through it. They're going through it. Stuff like that pissed me off. I, I can't. Yeah. He's moving on and holding back. He said, I don't got nothing to give you, queen of wands. I don't got nothing to give you, queen of cups. I don't got nothing to give you wifey either. It's a whole separation. 
and now the Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, they're talking about it's a celebration every time we link up. We don't give everything, that, we don't dare everything they can think of. Yeah, you don't dare everything they can think of, and everybody don't dare everything we can think of to you. Talking about greatness is what we, no, 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 that is not greatness. That's low vibrational as heck. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. And then you got the audacity to be out here trying to steal someone's energy so you can pretend to be them, trying to end someone, have them out in the cold, causing towers and things like that in their life, causing endings, so you can come out here and pretend to be them. Them ancestors got you all under judgment. There's a high priestess out here that be <laughs> literally talking about, I got enemies, got a lot of enemies, got a lot of people trying to dream of this energy. Trying to take away from a, you know what, you know the rest collective. It's all these people. The ex-wife, the queen of wands, queen of cups, the masculines behind the scenes. It's a whole community and family of people coming after one person. Mind you, one person. And it's a king of swords moving discreetly behind the scenes. He says, she don't see what I'm doing. She don't know what I'm pointing. When I hit her, it's going to be a shock. Uh, no, 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 no. She knows. She knows what you're about to do. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, she knows. That sister knows. Mm. She know. Oh, yeah, she knows. She knows the direction you're taking is going to lead to a loss for you. Because whoever you're trying to block from getting with this woman, whether new or old, they're still going to be getting together. And it ain't going to be you. It ain't going to be you. I'm telling you, that woman's going to be successful. This is a queen of pentacles you're trying to block. You found out someone was an empress, queen of pentacles, queen of cups, energy, when it was a little bit too late. And instead of you going in to apologize or something, you decided, oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to force her to be with me. And then she... She said, uh, excuse me. Oh, I know my ancestors and I got you under judgment and it's stuck. It ain't going nowhere. So you, we're waiting for you to bust the move, brother. Bust the mother effing move so we can balance this sucker out. Is what she's saying. So we can balance it out and you can be out here disappointed. Because someone is still going to be self-sufficient. Because what you fail to do and what someone else fail to do, someone else will be doing. There's another masculine that don't none of you know. There's another king of pentacles that nobody knows. This woman has not even met yet. And as soon as all of you are done effing up, <laughs> dun, 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 the heavenly realms has made a judgment that there is a new higher level soulmate in the life of an empress and he is in the upright will be investing with this woman and creating a new reality together going to the promised land together and you're all gonna feel what defeated while you're going through these endings and things like that ladies gentlemen have a seat have several seats because somebody's new beginning is secure they will be traveling Someone is very disciplined, very committed to their path. And you've been doing a whole lot, throwing a whole lot of energy at someone to disturb them, get them off of their path, get them to, sac to sacrifice themselves and so they can still stay stuck in order for a family or a group of friends to what? Get some type of fulfillment out of it. You ain't getting no fulfillment out of it because you're all under judgment. You're going to lose everything the whole fam friend group family whatever this is oh you'll have endings coming towards you like nobody's business you better be out here like nobody knows the troubles i've seen nobody knows my sorrows oh we know but we just don't care mm, we just don't care we just don't yeah we don't care because we're going to be keeping our distance because we know what you're all invested in. There is no return on investment for you all. You're going to keep waiting, waiting, and waiting, waiting, and waiting, waiting, and waiting, waiting for disappointments. Okay? <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this 
man is moving on. <laughs> this person will be uh, successful. Someone may want to get married. There's all the manipulation someone has been causing within an institution or within a marriage is over. Someone is going to be healing. There's an impressed energy that is healed that a masculine wants to commit to. Whether this is in work, I see the higher fin out here, which can have to do with institutions, organizations, and marriage. There is something. There's a masculine holding back from a marriage. He said, mm, he's in some type of unhappy marriage. And he's coming out of that to have some type of healing. Now, I don't know who he's going towards, but it will be wish fulfillment for him. I don't, I don't think there's a woman sitting behind the scenes waiting for someone to come towards them. Because that's not how empresses move. A lot of the time, we're not even paying attention to what's coming towards us, what's not coming towards us. We're focused on the now. Like, what's going on now? Okay? Yeah. Mm. And runny, runny, and runny, runny, and runny, runny. Hey. Trying to run from your disappointments that you manifested for yourself. Someone, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the whole clan, they're watching in disappointment and anticipation. So, uh, <laughs> you mean she's still going to be self-sufficient? You mean after all the manipulations, he still wants to communicate with her? <sighs> Why? Oh, what a world, what a world. Madness, complete madness. Absolutely complete madness. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Let's do our Oracle card readings. Because I was, I was thinking about those two pass around ho ho ho's again. I'm not about to go back to. Mm, 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 mm. That stuff is so repulsive. It's women stribby out here destroying marriages and relationships and getting a thrill out of it. How do you get a thrill out of being a whole pass around? Mm. Just being passed around and you don't feel you, you don't feel any ways about it. You don't oh, what I'm hearing also is that there's a woman out here that thought she was about to come and hinder someone's resources, someone's uh independence, so that they could end up having to do the same thing so that you you as the collective member the earth angel the actual empress you will understand what it feels like to be in that predicament no 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 no. that ain't how it works jezebel that is not how it works okay you're trying to force someone into a lifestyle that's not meant for them and even if that woman loses everything She's never going to have to scoop to that level because the universe has that person covered. Someone has put in way too much work for the universe to just leave them dashed on the, by the side of the road and say, okay, you know what? We can't help you anymore. We don't want to work with you. No, 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 no. Someone is so protected because they're so strong in life, right? And they know exactly where the heck they're going and they see people from a distance. Uh-uh. They know a little bit too much. The universe knows how much someone has how much someone has invested into their journey, their healing, and things like that. Okay? So they're not just gonna dash someone by the side of the road and say, you know what, you're a lost cause. We're not gonna help you. No, 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 no. There's a difference between between what you are doing and what you try to do to someone. You chose to be in that life. You chose to be a concubine. You chose to be a pass around ho ho ho. That woman didn't choose to be that. That woman if this is a true empress that I'm seeing, someone chose to do life the right way. They say, I don't care how hard things get. I'm going to stick to my character, to my morals. Okay. I'm not going to be out here begging for money. I'm not laying on my back for this or for that. Okay. If I get with someone, I'm going to be genuine with them. If they are not genuine or they break my loyalty or, uh, uh what is it? They, uh, betray my loyalty. Then you know what? Move on, you, and wait for the universe to send the next person. Someone is not on the same timeline that you are on. You have some type of mental imbalance. 
talking about uh, we're going to take everything away from her so she can have to do the same thing we do so she can know what it feels like. No, 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 no. That ain't how that goes. You chose to be in your lifestyle. It said all evil intentions of your enemies against you are dismantled collective in that order. In that order, and the spirit realm wants you to know you have a lot to offer to the world. In that order, out here talking about we, we're going to take everything from her so she can have to do the same thing we do. And then she'll be just like us. Okay, and then she won't be able to walk around with her head hair high anymore. She won't be able to feel like she's better than the rest of us. That woman don't feel like she's better than the rest of you all. You feel like she's better than you because you know something you're doing you shouldn't be doing. Okay? Okay. We have 23 folks. You have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible. You have, you love change and excitement and need both to feel truly alive. Like myself here, collective for you. Life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. I am adventurous. Okay. To the fullest. I need my Liberian accent. We kicking in sometimes and like in my country, we're so lazy with words. Oh my gosh, we're lazy. Very intellectual people, but so lazy with the English language. Like we're so lazy with the English language that our English is a whole different language language in and of itself. Like you can be sitting right here and I speak to you in English, in the Liberian form of English. And it's like I'm speaking a whole different dialect, but it's English. And why is it? It's because we're so lazy with enunciation. We don't pronounce things like we skip our R's. We skip our S's at the end of, baby, we be skipping everything. So excuse me sometimes when you all come on here <laughs> and I just be that through words. It's my Liberian English. <laughs> Anyways, 15, 6, sailing onto calmer waters. Now I'm going to try to enunciate on my R's and things. <laughs> your love for others is powerful and you are able to spread your gift of support far and wide. You, your curious and social nature brings you in contact with a variety of people, all who will benefit from your warm, heartfelt words of wisdom. I am wise. Okay, absolutely. It said no excuses. Uh, Jesse Bell's conky pawns. Uh, pass around. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, no excuses. We all have the same 24 hours in a day. What you choose to do with those 24 hours is what, what, is what, 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 what? Is what matters. Uh. And I said that on my channel before. We all have the same mother effing 24 hours uh, in the day. So this empress you're trying to destroy, this queen of cups you're trying to destroy, this high priestess you're trying to destroy, has to see 24 hours within the day that you do. And they choose to what? Mm, use theirs wisely. Invest in themselves. If only all the energy that you have, that you are investing in trying to destroy someone else, if only you were, you will overindulge in your well-being, in your healing, in your uh, journey, your dreams, your goals, your aspirations. Oh my gosh. This woman you're trying to destroy may possibly be behind the scenes supporting you. You sell something online, they go and buy from you. Yeah. That's the kind of time people in the genuine spiritual community are on. We're not out here looking for you like that. If we see something you're selling and we feel like it has some type of worth or value to it, we'll buy it to support you. Never mind what it is you've been doing trying to destroy us because everybody is on a journey. But, you know, you're all distorted and you all get together with your distorted minds. You said, we're going to get together. We're going to destroy this empress energy here so that this man, this company cannot give to them. Okay? Because that's our bag. We got to secure our bag. I'm using my shoulders and all. At some point, I will start doing readings with my face and stuff online, but you know, right now I got some stuff going on behind the scenes, so that's gonna be later. But, anyways, there's a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Wands, they are securing the bag. Okay, <laughs> no excuses, 
Take responsibility for your actions and choices. Create positive change. Right there. Out here calling people narcissists and things like that because they talk sense into other people. It's a woman um, that comes to my channel. Honey, I've been hearing everything y'all be saying from a distance. Don't be calling me no narcissist. I'm not a narcissist. I'm just what? Self-minded. Nobody's about to come to me with no BS. You're not going to tell me it's, it's rainy when it's, when it's pissy rain. You're pouring on me. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. We got the palm tree collective. You're going to have a satisfying life regardless of everything your enemies have been doing behind the scenes to destroy you. Oh, honey, your life is about to be blissful and there's someone that's about to get married as well. Hey, don't forget to invite us to the weddings. I probably won't come because I don't like social events and stuff like that. So I probably won't be there, but I'll be cheering for you from behind the scenes. Like, go girl, go girl, go brother, go brother. Okay, so marriages, satisfying life, abundance, everything you can think of. Oh yeah, abundance, growth, everything. And you don't even know it. Some of you are about to be getting married like real quick. And I'll be behind the scenes for you because I'm not coming. See, I don't like I don't like being around too many people, but celebrating other people's wins. Oh, that's coming. Count me in on that one. Yes, collectives getting married. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. And goodbye for now.